Comments on bro. Coming at ya with a beer review. Yes, and I am especially excited because it is a peanut butter milk stout from Belching Beaver. Check that out, guys. That's that right. That is cool. This is a sweet stout, peanut butter mm. stout at 5.3%, and I've had this one on tap. And the cool thing is this place was, this brewery was only established in 2012. And we're already getting a beer from them. Yep, yep. So we're going to get this one cracked open and give it a try. And I am excited about this one. Uh, I think this is awesome because it's a very dark, opaque beer. Yeah, it is. But if you look at the head on it, it's kind of almost got a peanut butter color to yeah, it. That's a light peanut it's butter. It's kind of like that mocha-ish color, but I call it peanut butter because... It's the style. All right, let's get a nose. Booyah! Wow. <laughs> wow, you can smell the peanut butter in there. Oh yeah, you get loads of peanut butter, a little bit of chocolate in there, a little bit of roasted malt. You definitely get chocolate. But a lot of chocolate. I got the slightest hint of that Easter egg candy scent on there. You know, the Easter malt bowls. This actually smells like Almost uh, one of those more natural peanut butters yeah. to me, yeah. with a dark chocolate like bar in there. And it actually smells like peanut butter and chocolate. Yeah, you know? I feel like I get a little bit of dark chocolate on the nose, and I get a little bit of a milk chocolate it, on the it's nose, not and too I get a little sweet. bit of a chocolate malt ball on the nose. Yeah, it's not too sweet of a smell, actually, is, is my thought mm. on it. It the, actually smells perfect. The scent is good. The scent is just as good here as it was on tap. It's wonderful. So I say we jump in. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Dad. You know, it's interesting because it is a medium body beer, you know, but it's only 5.3%. But what's outstanding is that 5.3%, you get a lot of chocolate still on this beer. You know, I always wish it was a little thicker, but it's a sweet stout. It's a milk stout. Oh, wow. This is such a good stout. Holy sh... Woo! You get I knew you like this. peanut butter in there. You get the chocolate in there. The only thing I complain about is the fact that it's not thicker. Because when I think of a milk stout, I think of a little bit more thicker stout. Like, in that general area, but it's got so much flavor. Yeah, yeah it does. What's fantastic is this is a very sessionable beer at 5.3%. That's ridiculous. But is with what it is. loads of flavor. It is so hard to get a <laughs> beer at 5.3% with this much flavor. I mean, you get the peanut butter, you get the milk stout flavor, you get the chocolate, and it it's it tastes like peanut butter, people. It tastes like chocolate. How many times have I tried a peanut butter milk chocolate stout that didn't have either? It was just yeah, we've had them like an eight point something percent, and they haven't had the quality of flavor that you get from this beer right here. But there's Which bitterness is, on the back side, but it's it's mm -hmm. very mild. It's within the parameters yeah. that it's just enough to stabilize the beer, which and is what it's supposed to do. the crazy thing is, it's not too sweet because the fact is that it's a lighter beer. But that's not to say it doesn't have sweetness because it, it does. Has sweetness. The chocolate flavors on this really balance out with the uh, roasted malts. The roasted malts are there along with the bitterness just to balance it out, but they're not overpowering. In fact, they're not the strength of it. The strength really comes from the malts, the regular malts with sweetness, the peanut butter, and the chocolate. Yeah, it's crazy. I would almost, from mouthfeel, lend it towards a porter, but because of how deep it is in taste, like the chocolate and the burntness, it is a stout almost lending towards a robust porter because it's so light on the mouth. But there is a little bit of lactose in there. Okay, we're going to enjoy this a little bit and we're going to come back with some numbers. All right, so we've been enjoying this great beer. We did a little reading, so we want to add to it. This one took a silver medal at the 
at the World Beer Championships in 2014. So that's this year, silver medal. The other comment I had was of all the, the peanut butter chocolate type beers that I've had, this is the first one that can compete with one made by our good friend Lermo22. He makes a fantastic peanut butter stout. Larry's beer, though, has more body to it than this, yes. though. Uh, and a little more chocolate, I would say. Yeah. Which means he's got to have a lot of peanut butter because the peanut butter holds up on his. But yeah. as far as commercial ones, this and Larry's, I think, are probably yeah, the I best mean, ones I've had. It's time to do some ratings on that. So first, whew, we're going to rate this as a sweet stout, just in the general category of sweet stout. You know, as a sweet stout, um, I'm not going to rate it quite as high because, quite frankly, it doesn't have the level of lactose that I expect or want to see. Um, granted, it's a very sessionable one, but I, you know, when I think of sweet stouts, I think of them being at least in the six point something percent range, at least here in the U.S. So in that sense, it, it doesn't quite meet my sweet stout button. I'm giving it an 83 on the sweet stout. Well, for me, I prefer calling it a milk stout. I don't like That's the name right. Sweet Stout because you have the lactose in there. You have everything. So, um, I've had good milk stouts yeah. out there. Yeah. Left hand. Left hand out of uh, Colorado makes a fantastic milk stout. I don't know. Someone had the left hand milk stout on Nitro by themselves. I don't know. I want to know. <laughs> I might have to go find it myself someday. Yeah. At least I have some beaver milk stout. At least he saved me that. <laughs> but out of milk stouts, this is a really decent one. I think it has enough mouthfeel. It has enough character. I mean, the crazy thing is for me, for a milk stout to be this low in ABV, it has the milk character. It has flavor and everything. I'm going to go opposite of that. I think it's a 93 when it comes to wow. milk stouts. <laughs> when it comes to overall, though... This is a really good beer, and I'm going to move it all the way up to a big old 92. Um, I really dig on this beer. It's hard to find a good peanut butter stout, let alone a milk stout. Lermo, you are world class. This one ranks in there at 96, all right? <laughs> You're above that, Lermo. Bottom line, I think we both love this beer. This is a peanut butter milk stout from Belching Beaver out of Vista, California. This is what you're looking for, right, Rich? This is the one, and Rich, actually, you need to find this one. Um, oh, yeah. One fantastic beer, 5.3% ABV. You can have multiple 22 ounces. Oh, my gosh. Multiple 22 ounces in one night. Uh, uh, all we're saying is life's too short to drink cheap beer. And we'll see you on the next beer review. Cheers. Please enjoy this one, guys. It was awesome. Yeah. Clement's home, bro. Coming at ya. You said you were introducing it. So you're oh. gonna go with a beer review. Oh, sorry. We'll do this again. Clement's home, bro. Coming at ya with a beer review. And this one I'm especially excited about because it's a... Especially? It, especially. Yeah, okay. Because, you know, I just thought it was like ex-spatulas or ex-something, ex-wives. <laughs> no one's excited about an ex-wife. No, he's a spatula and an ex-wife. Clement's homebrew coming at ya. And I am is <laughs> expatually. I'm really. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Alright, I'm good. Clement's homebrew coming at ya. With the beer you. I can't even speak today. I came from a country today. I'm ready. Ding, 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 ding. Alright. A did you e did you do your warm ups? I O U B S. We're good now. Isn't that where you kind of go? Um, That's not funny. <laughs> they do it on 
if they they do it on uh, uh, Big Bang Theory, so it's got to be funny. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Clement's Homebrew coming at you guys with a beer review, which I am especially excited about because it's my favorite style of stout. We have Queefing Beaver Peanut Butter Milk Stout. <laughs> That's right. This one is from Belching Beaver out of Vista, California. Oh, Belching Beaver. Queefing <laughs> Beaver. What the fuck is Queefing Beaver? I'm like, what do you do with that beaver? <laughs> you know what a queef is, right? No. It's when a woman farts from her vagina. Dude! <laughs> Why would you say queefing? <laughs> Why did you try to put that on my video? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you didn't know. <laughs> oh, oh man. Just do that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> alright, alright. Now they got out of the way, we're good. We'll start all over again. <laughs> you didn't know what Queen was. Yeah, but you called that the name of the beer. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I wasn't calling you. Oh, man. Stop it, Queefing Dog. <laughs> alright. Clement's home, bro. Coming at you. With a beer review, and I'm especially excited about this one because it is the style that I like. It is Belching Beaver, the milk chocolate stout. <laughs> you fucking you good? <laughs> Go with peanut butter milk stout from Belching Beaver. Try that one. Uh, peanut butter milk stout. From Belgium. Peanut Beaver. butter milk stout, that's right. Oh, I'll yeah. just look at the. Yeah, that's thing helpful, right. yeah. Alright. Clement's own bro coming at you with a beer view. And I am. It's. I, God damn. He's <laughs> especially tired, man. I'm not I'm sure. He's especially he special in, today. So I don't know. I know, I did sleep in. I mean, what's even better is it's a beaver holding. A beaver tail bottle. Yeah. I, or it's actually a baby's bottle for milk. That's what it is. I finally figured it out. Here, can you see that? He's holding a bottle. It's like a baby milk bottle. But it's got the beaver tail. It's so easy to get him excited. So anyway. <laughs> we're gonna... I mean, if I could find beaver anywhere I wanted, I'd definitely be buying this. But I, I don't know where the belching beaver is found. Uh, mostly in California, I would assume. There's lots of beaver in California. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, you know, because that's where beaver... Because <laughs> that's where beaver came from, <laughs> California. <laughs> beaver everyone. <laughs> you get the shaved beaver, the bushy beaver. <laughs> I need a seatbelt for my chair. <laughs> you get your peanut butter beaver. Because you know you like to lick that up once in a while. You get the whipped cream Sometimes beaver. Sometimes you get <laughs> trim your beaver. So, <laughs> trim the beaver. Our beaver comments are dedicated to Sam Larkman. It's All right. The dark beaver out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Darth beaver. Darth beaver. I think the bottom line of what we're saying here is... This is the bottle. It's a peanut butter milk stout. It's from Belching Beater. Beater. <laughs> Love to beat people when I belch. <laughs> Belching Beater. <laughs> Just beat it. Just beat it, beat it like you belch it, just beat it. Beaver's bite, just remember that, all right? <laughs> Belching I don't mind nibbling on someone's ear, but uh, some things should not be nibbled. Mm, all right. All right. Bottom line, I think we're both saying we really like this beer. This is from Belching. <laughs> <laughs>